Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry and today we're back to fix a DS4 Windows installation and setup error where it doesn't detect when you try to launch it that you have the right version of the .NET framework. And if that's the case, it's because you're trying to install like 5.0.7 and there's still some glitch or bug going on preventing it from being detected. Something about that update broke everything, so if you're having that problem for whatever reason, you want to go to the .NET website and go to the other versions of the of the software and grab 5.0.0. And to get to this page, all you have to do is go to the top of the window when you search like .NET Framework for Microsoft, find the .NET big button to the right of the Microsoft logo, click on that, and then inside of here you want to go to Downloads, and then here is the 5.0 recommended .NET version. We want this version, the 5.0, but we don't want the latest. So we'll go to all .NET downloads, and then under here we'll pick this gold one, the .NET 5.0. And then this is just a big pull down menu of all the different versions available for download. And you want 5.0.0. Inside of here you can grab the Windows installer for x64. Uh, X X86 is the older version for 32-bit processors. You want 64. And then you've also got the same version for Mac and instructions on how to put together a binary for Linux. Although, from what I understand, the newest version of Linux for the .NET framework works just fine. So you don't really have to worry. But if you need the one for Mac, it's right here. So uh, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put this link to download this in the video description, but I figured I'd show you if you ever have to find it manually because the link changes. Um, and then you can grab that, download that, install it, and that should work to fix the missing .NET Framework errors that have been happening. So that's it. I'll catch you guys and guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.